Hello everyone, my name is Kena and welcome to Foodie Friday. So we're in the kitchen today and we are going to be making some homemade pizza but the easy way. So yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, so for the ingredients we need some naan bread which is going to be the base, the dough for the pizza. And I got some pepperoni here but feel free to use any kind of protein that you want. Make sure that it is um, cured meat or actually cooked meat because we will only be putting the pizza in the oven for max 10 minutes. Okay, and we also have some cheese over here, of course. Um, I'm using Monterey Jack because I'm like mine a little bit spicy, but um, pizza mozzarella or any kind of cheese that melts works. Um, I got uh, a green bell pepper here and some mushrooms but feel free to use any kinds of vegetables that you want and of course the pizza sauce all right okay so for the tools that you will be needing first of all you will need a knife and a cutting board and a cheese grater to grate the cheese and some baking sheets. I'm using two today. And some tin foil to, um, to line the baking sheet with, but you can use um, parchment paper or those silicone reusable sheets or just put them, put the pizzas directly on the pan. So now that I have all the tools and the ingredients, I'm going to preheat my oven. So we want to bake at 395 or 400 and then I'm going to push start to um, preheat. Alright, so I am going to be cutting my mushrooms. You want to wash your mushroom or either wipe it with a paper towel thoroughly. Um, just a quick tip, if you wipe it with a paper towel instead of washing it, it actually preserves the fragrance more, but feel free to do whatever you want. So you want to cut off the stems, then we want to slice the mushrooms thinly. So you may need an adult to do this with you. So we want our mushrooms to be quite thin. All right, so I've finished cutting my mushrooms. So now we're going to move on to cutting the bell peppers. So for the bell pepper, what you want to do is cut um, vertically, straight down. And I got some seeds in mine, so I'm just going to dump it in the sink. And then again, we want some thin strips because the pizza is only going to be going in the oven for about 10 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to cut mine in half. And then do thin strips. So I cut mine in thin strips and I'm going to cut the rest of this too. Alright, 
So now what we're gonna do is that I've um, placed my nan bread onto the baking sheet and now we're gonna put some of the pizza sauce on. So I forgot to mention in the in the tools that we need but I'm going to be using a spoon just because it's easy to spread the pizza sauce out with the back of the spoon. All right so I am going to put a huge lock on there and on the other one. And by using the back of the spoon, I'm going to spread the pizza sauce out. And the other one. Okay, so now we have our um, dough with the pizza sauce and our ingredients that we're going to put on top. Okay, so hmm, I think I'm going to be making one pepperoni pizza and one veggie pizza. So I am going to place pepperoni on the pizza I'll do five on one because the pepperoni that I bought was quite large and then some mushrooms and bell peppers I really, really like mushrooms, so I'm going to put a lot on mine. All right. So you can see I got my pepperoni and my veggie pizza. And now we are going to top it off with some cheese. All right, so I have grated some cheese here. So now we're gonna put the cheese on our pizzas. A big handful. a little bit more cheese on the pepperoni. All right. All right, so this is the pizza that we made first and I used up the leftover ingredients that I cut up and made two more pizzas. So this one has pepperoni, mushrooms, and the bell peppers on it, and this one only has mushrooms on it, but there's a lot of mushrooms on it, which I'm really excited to eat. Okay, so we're gonna pop these in the oven, and now that our oven is preheated, and we are gonna wait for 10 minutes. Wish me luck doing with this with one hand. All right, see you later. Now I said 10 minutes, but um, I'm gonna come back in about seven or eight minutes just to see and check on it and to see if any of it is burnt or not. 
you know, just in case. All right, see you later. Okay, so it's been about seven to eight minutes, so I'm gonna check on my pizzas. Looking pretty good. I think I want the cheese to be a little bit more cooked and crispy, so I'm gonna leave it in for a little bit longer. And then I'll come back in about two or three minutes. All right, so now that I've waited a little bit longer, I'm gonna check on my pizzas. And they are looking pizza and the mushroom and uh, bell pepper pizza and these are the ones that I made with just the mushrooms and all the ingredients and once you make sure that you're all done with the pizza you're all done with the oven let's turn this off all right okay so now I have transferred my pizza on to the cutting board and if you have a pizza cutter, awesome. I don't, so I'm just gonna be using a big knife to cut my pizza. And I used my hands <laughs> to transfer the pizza over, but it's still a little bit hot, so maybe use a spatula or, yeah, anything you can transfer over the pizza with. Okay, so I have cut my pizza vertically and horizontally into four pieces. So let's give it a taste test. Oh, look at that. Make sure you blow on it because it's really hot. It's really good. All right. All right, so, so thanks for watching this video. I had a blast making my pizza on my own. It's super easy and it's pretty cheap, pretty affordable, and it is a great family or friend activity. You can easily make this at your home. And yeah, all right, well, I'm gonna finish off my pizza, so see you soon. Bye-bye.